Hello and welcome to Test Studio. In this video, I will show you how to use the new feature for screen recording of test list execution inside Test Studio. Analyzing a test failure reason sometimes can be a very time consuming job, even when the failing issue is easy to spot uh, when you see it. Both running the scenario manually or rerunning the automated test can take time, especially if we have a long test with many steps. So, even if the issue is easily discoverable, you may need to wait for it for some time, which is boring and not productive. For these cases, we added the screen recording feature. When enabled, it will record, depending on what you prefer, all the execution or only failing tests. Once the result is ready, you can open the video recording and see what led to the failure and what really happened. So, in the cases when we need to see uh, what happened to the test and why the failure happened, you can use those videos and uh, watch all the steps that led to the failure. So now let me show you how to enable and uh, use uh, this feature. The video recording feature only works with test list execution, no matter if uh, local or remote. So to enable the option, we should go to the test list uh, settings. Uh, in the general tab, the category is called uh, screen recording. And here we have several options. First of all, have in mind that using a recording codec would dramatically decrease the video size. So we recommend installing uh, these codecs on your machine. You can choose from these types of codecs. If you don't have a uh, uh, codec installed, by default, we'll be using the default Motion JPEG, which does not compress the video, and its size will be bigger. When the recording mode uh, is off, this means that uh, the feature is disabled. This is the default state for Test Studio. When you change it to Always, this means that videos for each and every test in the test list will be recorded, uh, even for the tests that are passing. And I would recommend to use the on fail option, which uh, means that um, only the failing uh, tests will be recording. All the passing tests videos will be deleted and they will, know, they will not take up space. The recording FPS and the recording scale options lets you play with the quality and respectively the size of the output video. Downscaling and small recording FPS number will produce a video with less quality and less size. Once the setting is enabled, when I have a failing test, part of the test list, it will be recorded. Actually, all failing tests that are part of this test list will get recorded. Here, my test list has uh, two tests and one of them is uh, failing. I run it now. The test list failed, and when I select the failing test, I have this button for the screen recording info. When I hit it, I open the screen recording info window where you see when you can see the file path. This is where the video is located, the file size of the video and the recording codec that was used. For remote execution, we recommend to set a shared location for video storage so that Test Studio is able to access it. The video is by default stored on the machine where the test is executed. So in the case of remote machine, Test Studio may not be able to read it and play it from here. So if you set storage path, path to be uh, shared over the network, uh, network, it will be easier to manage the recorded videos and they can be open from Test Studio. 
local test list execution uh, will store the video on the local machine by default if you don't set a custom path. So for local execution, there is no problem uh, and uh, the play button will be always active inside Test Studio. So when I hit this button, my video opens and I can uh, watch the recording of, of the test. I hope this video gave you a basic idea why and how to use the screen recording feature. Thank you for watching.